Yeah, so we are live on Facebook now and we are good to begin with the session. Monica ma'am has already shared all the important links in the chat section. So kids make sure that you copy all these links because these would be helpful for you to enroll to this program as well as all the upcoming programs as well. Right, so. Once again, a very warm welcome to all the students and parents over here, although I see very like all the students only maybe behind the scene parents would be there. <laughs> Is it yeah. so uh, it's like uh, you would be knowing about Olympiad success. So we are uh, India's largest online preparation platform for Olympiad uh, examinations and we have been conducting successfully these live classes for uh, almost four years now. So this is our fourth year actually. And uh, our main focus is on the conceptual clarity. OK, so whether it be any subject concepts are really important and you should really focus on that and come what may any kind of question we would be able to solve that. Right. So our main motto is this. And apart from that, like uh, there are three important pillars for any children's success. Uh, who can tell me? You can write it down in the chat section. So who do you think like uh, would be the most important pillar in your life for your success? Hard work, right? Education, okay. Honesty, all right. <laughs> Confident. Okay, so now uh, practice. Yes, absolutely. So then, you know, like all these qualities which you have given me, focus on goal, hard work, absolutely. So these, like these are coming from where? From you, yourself, right? Dedication. Yes, absolutely. But then all these qualities are within you. So first important pillar is you yourself, correct? Okay, second is your parents and third is the mentor. Okay, so it's a combination of all these three people in your life. So basically one is you yourself only and the remaining to your parents and your mentor. So uh, they try their level best to, you know, like make you successful. Okay, and these qualities, they are the byproduct. Yes, you have to stay focused on your goal. You have to do hard work, you have to do smart work. You have to do lots and lots of practice. So don't worry about that. We would be giving you sufficient, you know, uh, exercises to practice upon. Correct. So with this, let us begin. OK, so I'll just let you know the flow of this uh, session uh, today. Like uh, since this is a demo session, uh, we would be having in the first part the introduction by your yeah. mentor, uh, Ms. Poonam okay. Ma'am. OK, after that, we would be having a uh, course presentation. So all the details about the course would be presented uh, during that. Okay. Then uh, I will be taking you through the tour of the platform. Post that we would be having a short question and answer round. So if you have any doubts, queries related to this program, you can write it down in the chat section. And finally, uh, we will be beginning with the demo session for which you all are here. OK, so generally all our live classes are of 75 minutes, but then today it being a demo session, uh, this class would be for around 45, uh, 40, 45 minutes only the demo session I'm talking about because the introduction part would be taking up uh, the time other time as well. OK, so uh, now let me introduce you to your mentor, Poonam ma'am. Hi, Poonam ma'am. How are you? I'm good, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, so, yeah, a very so good evening. Yeah. Yes, Poonam, ma'am. Go ahead. Yes, please. Uh -huh. Well, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, very good evening to all the students here. Why all of you look a little dull, forced to sit in front of the system. Parents have forced you to sit. I want that bright smile. Yeah, that's good. Well, I am thrilled to be here with all of you. And uh, like Aarti Ma'am has introduced me, I would reiterate, my name is Poonam. And I completely appreciate each one of you for taking out time and listening to your parents uh, to attend this demo. Uh, trust me, it's going to be worth it. Whether you join, you don't join, that's uh, the decision taken later. But I'm sure you attend this demo, you will learn, you'll have a lot of takeaways. Okay. Uh, I personally believe mastering English language is something very essential component of effective communication. Okay. So I feel very happy to have this opportunity to help you strengthen those skills. And I'm very confident. We have also seen that after the batch completion, 
each one of you will walk away feeling very confident and equipped to tackle any grammar related challenge it could be a competitive exam it could be an academic uh, exam okay whatever comes your way provided at the same time you put in your sincere efforts whatever has been told or solving question papers or just being very focused uh, in the class so i look forward to teach uh, all of you so this demo will not def will not be very interactive uh, since it's a demo but during the regular sessions we will it will be a lot of you know it will be engaging interactive and above all we'll have lots of fun while we learn <clears throat> thank you so much thank you ma'am thank you ma'am it's always a pleasure to have you on the platform and now vanika ma'am over to you thank you so much aarti ma'am so children uh, as aarti ma'am has already told you about the flow of the session so according to that let me share my screen for a short informative ppt and you can note down whatever you find worth noting uh, in the meantime i would request aishwarya gopi with hari tripathi and niharika prabhu to please switch on your cameras because we do not allow students without video in the classes this is a demo session so you should start practicing you have to join the class right okay uh so is my screen visible yes ma'am okay i'll we'll share it again just a sec i hope it is visible now is it yes yes thank you so a very warm welcome to each one of you to the demo and interaction program for class 5 english batch 2 now as you might already be aware that olympiad success is India's largest online preparation platform for Olympiad exams. Olympiad Success Live is India's first exclusive live classes for Olympiad's preparation. School Plus by Olympiad Success is one of its own kind of annual program that includes eight important courses that really matter at this point of time in your life, and these eight courses include mathematics, English, science, logical reasoning. communication both spoken and written vedic math and coding now here you can get one on one online cbse icse igcse and ib classes for grades 2 to 12 one on one preparation classes for international mathematics olympiads like sasmo cmo hkimo timo math counts us common core math competition prmo you can meet our uh, international rank holders for the year 2022 23 and for the year 2021 22 these are so many all brilliant star performers kids like you uh so our classes are going to be actually group sessions with batch size of around 20 students delivered through zoom by seasoned tutors you've already met your mentor so you get three sessions per week on monday wednesday and friday timing will be 6:30 pm till 7:45 pm with 5 minutes of break in between So this means the flow of the session would be that every five minutes of class with five minutes of break in between, and again followed by thirty-five minutes of class. So the sessions would be actually be a mix of theory, practice questions, doubt sessions, and discussion on previous year papers. You will also get access to reading material and practice question, which will be available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success, for which very shortly you will get a virtual tour by Arti Ma'am. you also get access to olympiad success platform so that you can practice topic wise mock test for both maths reasoning logical reasoning and all and uh, for uh, english so a uh, syllabus is available at this particular link and fees can be paid at this particular link so don't worry all the important links relevant links have been pasted in the chat box and will again be pasted for your benefit the fee for this course is 10038 and it is going to be a 45 sessions course The fee includes online classes, daily reading, notes, and exercises, practice of previous year papers, and access to Olympiad Success Platform. Uh, now, all you require for these classes is a laptop or a desktop with good internet speed, with camera, and headphones for better audio clarity. Now, preparation for Olympiad Success is slightly tougher than your regular school curriculum, so you're required to spend at least you know two hours every day to cope up with the curriculum, and of course, parental support is required at the back end. So you might already be aware that in 2022-23 Olympiad Success had students from more than 3,800 schools across India and abroad, and these uh, students hailed from 35 plus countries. So the live classes for this particular batch starts from Saturday, 10th May 2023. So that's all from uh, this PPT. 
Now all over to you, Aarti Ma'am, for the virtual tour of the dashboard. Thank you so much, Monica, Ma'am, for a wonderful presentation. I'm sure our students would have heard this carefully because we are going to have lots of questions. This is this presentation, all right? Now let me share my screen and then uh, I'll take you through the tour of the platform. Yeah, so it's like once you enroll with us, you would be getting your uh, credential that is email and password. What you have to do is you have to go to the website olympiadsuccess.com slash login, enter your credentials and click on the sign in button. You would be redirected to the profile page. Make sure you complete your profile uh, because you won't be able to move to any other section until and unless your profile is complete. So the first important thing to uh, go to is the live classes tab. Just click on that and another subject se uh, section, you can see like all the subjects for which you have subscribed to. I've subscribed for all these subjects and hence I can see the names. In case you have uh, applied only for English Olympiad, you can see just English Olympiad. So just select that subject and all the topics in that particular subject would be displayed. So let's say I would want to see uh, something related to tenses. I'll click on the tenses part and the reading material, practice questions and answer keys related to that would be displayed. Okay, so these, uh, these are links which would, upon clicking them, which would open up a PDF, okay? So you can see the details in this PDF. And there are lots of practice questions uh, given for these particular this particular topic and all the topics as well. So if you just go to this, uh, write down your answers and then finally match your answers with the answer key given in the in this PDF. All right. So uh, this is like how you have to access your content, which Monica Ma'am had mentioned. Then uh, this view schedule. Okay. So this PDF is really important for you guys because here session wise detail is given. Okay. So in which session, what we would be taking up. So in session one, we would be taking up nouns. Session two, again, nouns. Session three, pronouns. Session four, so on and so forth. Okay. And if you notice, like after every topic or two, we would be having some mock tests conducted. Okay. So we make sure that the student and the mentor are on the same page and uh, like you are really, you know, studying well and uh, clearing your doubts during the section as well. Okay. And let me go at the bottom. So if you notice over here, like your course will get completed in uh, 41 sessions and the remaining sessions that is starting from 42, 43, 44 and 45. So these sessions would be your super classes and doubt solving classes. So in these classes, you uh, like previous year papers would be solved. Okay. And if any doubts, uh, of yours, they would to be solved, okay? So this is about the schedule part and then we have the holiday calendar. So these uh, are the dates on which your classes will not be conducted. And finally, the Zoom meeting ID and password. So on this, uh, your meeting ID and password will be displayed. The next important thing is worksheets. So Monica Ma'am had mentioned that you would be getting topic-wise worksheets for English and logical reasoning. What you have to do is just click on comprehensive English and here you can see the topic wise worksheets. So these are available in the form of test. You have to just click on the take exam button and uh, practice from these topic wise worksheets. Similarly, you can do for logical reasoning. And what you have to do is like to check your answer keys, just click on the performance tab, click, uh, select the subject for which you would want to uh, see your answer key and then click on the view button to see the answer keys. Okay, so that is all about the platform. Uh, don't worry in case if you have not followed anything uh, in this because uh, like on the first day of your session, we would be again giving you the tour of the platform so that, you know, like you don't face any difficulty in accessing any of these materials. So that's it kids from our side. Now we have the ground open for questions. Any questions? So all the links have been pasted again. And if you have any doubt, please feel free to ask. Type in the chat box. We'll be happy to answer. Any no doubt? Questions? No Come doubt? On.
all right so we have an intelligent you know group of students so they have understood each and everything so let let me ask a question if you permit uh varika ma'am yeah there is one question in the okay. chat box any other so, book required instead of study material arham is asking arham has asked okay any other book is required instead of study material no so the material which we are providing you would be more than sufficient okay so you have to just make sure that you practice a lot and make sure you do all the tests and everything on a regular basis and uh, this would be more than sufficient for you all right just make sure that you are physically and mentally present in the class all your assignments tests are done on time and you are uh, getting conceptual clarity you are getting your doubts cleared from your mentor and i think uh, this will be just sufficient not only for your uh, cbse classes but also for your olympiad exams okay any other doubt any other doubt anyone niharika do you have any doubt like you are very fidgety very restless <laughs> <laughs> okay okay uh, so how many sessions are overall there in this course in this batch okay nice kaksha very good quick to answer yes kanksha biji taram you all are right okay so i doubt anyone anything is coming to your mind any query nothing okay so what are the days on which classes are going to be conducted on what days yes kanksha arama bijit so only three kids are active in responding why so yes adya even you are right okay monday wednesday friday okay okay so no doubt is coming to your mind are you sure okay <laughs> all right all right and what are the timings what are the timings Kangsha is ready with the answer already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Six thirty to seven forty-five p.m. Right. Correct. Correct. As ma'am, can we begin with the demo now? Should we? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, uh, so all over to you, Poonam, ma'am. Yes. All of you are ready to learn to listen to me. Yeah, Aishwarya, if you could come on video, it'll be nice to see you. Okay, okay. Thank you, Uma. We'll start with a very important, very interesting topic today. Okay. Uh, let me share my screen with you first. Can you see my screen, children? Monica, ma'am, is my screen visible? Yes, it is. Now, uh, subject-verb agreement. It sounds so complicated, so complex, isn't it? But trust me, it is very easy, and it's so much of fun when you realize, oh, this is it. It's actually very easy if you pay, if you actually uh, pay a little attention and apply the rules which we learn. okay before we go ahead to learn about this concept i would like to ask you if you all can answer me through chat what do you mean by subject i'm waiting i'm looking at the window the chat window what do you mean by subject so let's break this down into first the subject come on those who know kansha patel says doer doer of what others 
English, Abhijit, English, okay, subject, okay. <laughs> As in, no, no, with the English, English is the subject, okay. Kansha says, doer of the action. Topic, Adya, okay, I get it, what you're trying to say. See, children, every sentence as a subject and a verb. What do you mean by verb? All of us have known this, I think, since we were in class two. Verb means action. So very easy to identify an action word in the sentence. When I say Poonam ma'am is teaching English. So teaching here is very clearly the action. Subject here means doer of the action. I write down doer of the action. How do I identify subject? I'm so sorry for my bad patience. Okay, I'm not really got adapted. Okay, now how do I identify the subject? That can be a little tricky. Just hold on. In the sentence, the subject is the doer of the action. How do I identify the subject in a sentence? First, identify the verb, that is the action verb. Then answer to the question, who is doing the action? Who is doing? Puna ma'am is teaching English. Teaching verb. Who is teaching? So the answer is the subject. Puna ma'am is teaching English or we are listening to her. So what is the action? Listening. Who is listening? We. We becomes the subject. You got it? Are we clear? The concept of subject. How do I identify subject in the sentence? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Only then I can go ahead and only then you will understand the subject verb agreement concept. Okay. Thank you, Adya. Now. Before we go ahead to understand the subject verb agreement, I am right. I am now laying down the foundation to understand better. So before we understand multiplication, don't we learn? It's very necessary for us to learn addition, numbers. Only then we'll understand. So likewise, these are a few things that I want you all to get it right before we go ahead at the and understanding the real concept of subject verb agreement. Now, how do we convert? Mostly, how do we convert singular nouns to plural nouns? Can you please, you, I would say most of, what do we do? Can you send me the message? By adding S, why is Kansha Patel only child who is very active in chatting? Don't you all know the uh, Arman? Very good. Thank you, Arman. Come on, I want you all to be active. By adding S, usually. Okay, of course, we do add ES, VES. You are right. We add S to most of them. Room will become rooms. Boy will become boys. Girl, girls. Okay. Now, did we know we have singular and plural even in verbs? Okay. What do we do to convert singular verbs to plural verbs? So uh, to those who did not know, under verbs also we have singular and plural. So what do we do to add them? I mean, what do we do to make it plural? We, You know what we do? We re remove S from the word. So basically, verbs act in an opposite manner in converting from singular to plural. Nouns, you add S when it works. The, the works without S. I'm talking about only the root forms, the base form, the present form of the works. You have where without S is your plural form. So planes will become singular. Their boys will become plural because it's a noun. It's a verb here with S is singular. Got it? So if you have to, if you get confused, you just have to remind yourself how I convert. It's the opposite manner, simply. It's that little exercise that you have to do in the in your brain and you'll just have to do maybe three, four times. Then you'll get used to. 
today i don't have to i it takes one it, it takes that millisecond for me to say rooms is plural because i'm so used to of understanding verbs with s is plural okay a few examples under noun and verbs bat bats ball balls rose roses pen pens table tables very clearly all your plural verb nouns have s in it but when it comes to verbs your plays eats dances sings cooks teaches listens sleeps all these are singular form plural is without s are we clear with singular and plural nouns and verbs give me a thumbs up arham abhijit okay thank you so much now some more verbs has incidentally all these also end with s if you look at these auxiliary verbs helping verbs s s s easier for us to understand because like plays dances all are s s here these also incidentally end with s and the plural form are ha, has have is are was were does do yes they have the b form of verbs clear okay now now comes the concept of subject verb agreement you need to listen to me don't read let's consider a relationship between subject and a verb as a relationship between a boss and an employee you understand employee the subordinate who works or who reports to the boss okay now we'll consider subject as the boss here verb has to listen to the boss subject will not listen verb has to listen and they both come in agreement they come in agreement that means they agree on certain terms and conditions subject tells verb has to agree verb subject tells if i am singular even you are singular if i am plural you also better be plural only then we'll get along well and only then the sentence is grammatically a correct sentence so basically the golden rule of sva subject verb agreement is subject and verb must agree with one another in number and in english what are what do you mean by number two numbers singular and plural so like the statement says you all can read now if a subject is singular its verb must also be singular if the subject is plural its verb must also be a little here and there you don't follow this rule you are talking wrong or you are speaking you are writing wrong english a very grammatically wrong unacceptable yes you don't go by what sounds right you have to go by what is right okay now let's look at the example the dog chases the cat very clearly all of us can recognize chases is the verb dog is the subject now i reckon dog is in singular or plural form singular obviously so because it is singular the verb with s has to come to form that agreement making sure the golden rule is applied here so if you look at it the subject is in singular no s hence verb also has to be singular which is with s that is all only then the sentence is right the dog chases the cat now what if your subject becomes plural dogs your verb also has to be plural without s is plural the dogs chase the cat if i add s here the dogs chases the cat is wrong although you still manage to convey the message but not with the right english right language and that is what we are here for to refine to uh refrain from doing these mistakes got it children did you all get this right golden rule okay now this is not 
done. Of course, this is the golden rule. Apart from the golden rules, we have a few exceptions, a few more rules that you have to understand in case of different subjects or what if the subject is, they are different subjects. They are a few rules like a different clauses that you have to understand and apply the golden okay not always very not always your subject is very easily identifiable or it's the name of a person place animal or thing it can be something else which you will start wondering is it singular or plural for that we will learn a few rules okay now before we go to the may the other rules just applying the golden rule considering the subject here please write down the answers you know what? How are you going to write down? Write down all four together. Don't send me go, travel, respect. Just write together with a comma in between. Did you all write down, children? Come on. Let me know if you've written. Give me a thumbs up. Okay, we'll, we, I'll give you a few seconds more. Arham, can you send me? Oh, you all have written it down. Okay. Let me look at your answers. Goes, goes, goes. Travel, travel, respects, respect, travel, respects, respect, respects, respect. Ah, oh, all of you are right. Whoever has written down. He is a singular form. That's why the singular form of go is goes. He goes to work by bus. They is plural. That's why I keep it in plural form. They travel to work by bus. My mom, the subject is singular. My mom respects me. My friends, which is plural, respect me. Okay. Now, a few rules to remember before we apply golden rule. For sentences which are not as easy as the ones which we did. The first rule to remember is the indefinite pronouns. We have, we all of us know pronouns. Under that, there's one type of a pronoun, indefinite pronoun, which doesn't refer to a specific name or person. That's why it's called indefinite. Such as anyone, everyone, someone, no one, nobody. All these, like uh, basically words ending with buddy, one and thing. Everyone, everybody, everything. No one, uh, uh, someone, everyone. Nobody, everybody, everything. All this, okay. They will always require singular verbs. Although you might one, you might wonder that they are addressing or they. they Basically, it means more than one. No. Everyone has done his or her homework. If you look at this sentence, everyone here is the subject. And it's an indefinite pronoun. And the rule says it requires a singular verb. 
Remember, everyone is considered as one whole. One whole. One. That's why, hence, singular verbs has to be used. Has, not have. Somebody has left her purse. Now, when I say everybody is beautiful or are beautiful, it is everybody is beautiful. You might say, ma'am, everybody means definitely more than one. Why are we using is? But that's the rule under subject verb agreement that they will always require verbs because we are considering these indefinite pronouns as one whole. Clear? Clear with these? Okay. You have to give me a thumbs up. Yes. Second one. The pronouns neither and either are singular. You might say, ma'am, I don't use the word singular and why do I have to know? You have to know, you will get these in your competitive exams, in your academics, you know, you better know them if you want to really score good marks. These words, whenever we are addressing a subject with these words, neither either, remember, they are considered singular and require singular verbs, even though they seem to be referring in a sense to two things. Let's look at the example. Neither of the two computers, two computers. Now, when I say two, both the computers are not working. Very simplest language, we will use this. Both the verb computers are not working. Yeah, I say are not working, but I would like, maybe I would say in a better way. Neither of the two computers, that which means both the computers, neither of the two computers is working because I have used the pronoun neither is working. Although you might look at this computers, which is plural, but I have neither. So my verb has to be singular. Which dress do you want for Christmas? Either is fine with me. Got it? Okay. Now, some words end in S and appear to be plural because that's what we always have it in our mind. Any words that end with S in nouns are plural. But these are words, they are still continue to be singular because the default spelling itself has S in it in the end. It doesn't make in any way plural. Look at the word news. Do you have a singular form as new? No, right? News itself is a word which has S in it. So don't get confused. Consider them to be singular. Singular words. Simple. Measles. It's a name of a uh, like your know, disease like chicken pox is a dangerous measles it has s in it news it has s in it okay next let's apply the three rules and do these three uh fill ups come on send me a chat uh Please apply, just recollect the rules, then do it. Don't just go by what is sounding right in your brain. Ansha has sent, Abhijit has sent. I want all your participation, children. Ummang, Aishwarya, Saharsh, Nancy, Niharika. Come on, I'm waiting. Okay, Arham has sent, Nancy has sent. Most of you are right. Very nice. I'm looking at your answers. How many of you have sent me? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. Who hasn't sent? Okay. 
let's go ahead. Somebody is an indefinite pronoun, hence the verb has to be in singular form. Somebody eats this apple pie, I will not spare. It. Physics is the word ending with S, but the word itself has S in it, has a default spelling, is my favorite subject. My father neither smokes nor drinks. Okay, now, next one. The verb in an or either or neither nor sentence. Remember or either or neither nor sentence agrees with the noun or pronoun closest to it. Please listen carefully. Need there are times neither and nor are referring to two things. Neither the clerks, clerks, nor the secretary, uh, neither I like coffee, neither I like, you know, nor I like tea. You use both the, you use these conjunctions, referring or addressing to two subjects. But what should be the verb here? The verb is only one. The, verb, the rule says it agrees with the noun or pronoun closest to it. So verb is has. There are two subjects, secretary, clerks. This is plural. This is singular. The verb is closer to secretary or the secretary is closer to the verb. Isn't it? Clerks is away. So I will pick up the one which is closer. So this is singular. That's why this is also singular. Now let's look at the second sentence. Neither the teacher, singular, nor the children, plural, have attended the school function because this verb is closer to the subject, which is in the plural form. I will have to write the verb in plural form. If I have to swap there, neither the children nor the teacher has attended the school function. So go by the subject which is closer to the verb. Either the chairs or the boxes, no confusion, both are plural, have to be moved. Did you get this right, children? Come on, give me a thumbs up. Even if it's a, even those who are, okay, I've got four, five thumbs ups. Very good. Now, next has a general rule. Use a plural verb with two or more subjects. Of course, one subject we understand children, they, we, all these are plural. But what if they are two subjects separated by the word or conjunction and? TV and radio are my means of entertainment. TV is singular. Radio is singular, not radios or TV, televisions. But both together make it plural, no? Because they are two subjects. They are just being separated by and. They, are two, they have different identities, but they are two subjects we are speaking about in a sentence. So, your verb has to be in plural form. Red and yellow are, or red is my favorite color. Red and yellow are my favorite colors. Friends and relatives were present for my birthday celebration. Clear? This is easy. Okay, now, sixth one, remember, use always a singular verb with three concepts, distance. When I talk about distance, I talk, I, examples are miles, kilometers, periods of time. Periods of time would be months, days, years, sums of money. It could be, a, you know, a, a lakh, a thousand rupees, 50,000, 50, 50 rupees. It could be anything, any sum of money. It could be Obviously, it's plural. But because the rule says it comes under sums of money, hence the verb has to be in singular. 10 lakh 
is a huge amount. I, my, I guess I lost, uh, I get a message that my internet is unstable. Were you able to listen to me clearly? Give me a thumbs up. Okay, thank you. 10 lakh is a huge amount to carry in the form of cash. Is a huge amount. You can't say 10 lakh or huge amount is wrong. 365 days, which comes under periods of time. Okay. Look at this days, days. You will say, ma'am, it's plural. So plural verb, verb without S is plural, but I'm still writing singular here. This is singular, isn't it? Mix with S verb is plural, singular. Why? Because 365 days is periods of time. 160 kilometers. You might say plural. No, this is distance. I will use singular verb. Is equivalent of 100 miles. Clear? Children, I might hurry up now. I might just ask you to give me a thumbs up. But during our again, I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. I'm going to make you maybe have, you know, we have quizzes. Maybe I'll ask you to annotate on the screen. Um, you know, be very free to clarify your doubts. Um, maybe I will ask you to explain after reading. It could, it will be a lot of interaction. It definitely it's not going to be where I speak. I don't like that. Where you all are just nodding your head. This is only during the demo. Okay. Now, let me clear this. I want you to, I want all of you to uh, apply the six rules that we have learned and the golden rule and please answer these questions. Come on. Send it to me at once. Don't send it to me one by one. I want all of you to answer it. Let me know once you're done, children. You have the options given. Okay, I have got answers from Abhijit. Kansha, Kansha has been very active and fast. Abhijit as well. Sharansh, Arham. Okay, Sharansh has sent. So three of you, Arham, fourth. There's one child who left. Okay, so you are seven, four. I've received from four, five Umang. Two more. Aishwarya, five. Niharika, should we wait for you? Or let us let, let me know how much ever you've sent me, how much ever you've typed, sent it across. Okay, I don't know. Maybe she's someone who is not near the system. I don't see her video on. We'll go ahead. Answering these. Okay, Niharika, are you answering, baby? 
Did you answer? But I don't see your answers. You haven't sent. Okay. If you've written it down on the book, you could cross check. Okay. Now, let me look at her answers. I'm just looking at uh, now if you have answered. Okay, this is delivers. Was is are among will deliver deliver deliver. This is are is was. Okay, Aishwarya, it's not delivers. Okay, Rahul and his parents. There's no neither indefinite pronoun. It's just their two subjects. Um, connected with the word or conjunction and, hence it makes it plural, visit us often. Either the workers or the boss, there are two subjects with the either, the nearest is boss, which is singular. Deliver is or delivers. A lot, I think a lot of you have written deliver. You tell me, boss is singular? What is singular verb? Either the workers or the boss delivers the merchandise. So I guess Aishwarya is the only one who has got right, got it right. Why? Because boss is singular. The nearest subject to the verb has you have to take its form. Boss is singular. What is singular? Deliver or delivers? delivers. Neither math, it's a name, not the name of the subject, name of a boy, nor his brothers were at the party. Why brothers is plural? How many of you have written where? So many of you have got this wrong. Was. I am happy if you go wrong. You are, you have, you have all the freedom to make mistakes in my class. But make sure before you log out, you correct those mistakes in your head, in whatever you're writing, and then log off. Okay? Sometimes we learn the most after making mistakes. I'm happy. All of you got it. Why it should be were here? Remember, brothers, I am using neither addressing two subjects, the one which is closer to the verb. Brothers is plural. Hence, were Verb has to be used, which is plural form. Four miles is distance, is a long way to walk. Two dogs, it's just a plain subject, plural, are running in the circle. Five dollars is sum of money, is too much to ask for. Everybody is an indefinite pronoun, was asked to remain quiet. So most of you have gone wrong or got confused with the second and third. It's okay. But did you all get your corrections right? Did you get it right now? Do you realize? Yes. And with this, we have almost, you know, learned six rules. There are about 12 to 13 rules, which we will learn during our regular sessions. But uh, don't you feel nice? We've learned something very new today. Yes. With this, I end today's class. Do let me know on your chat section uh, through chat. How did you find this class? I look forward to teach you in your regular classes. And after which you can log off now. Um, and look for, I look forward to have our regular classes. Yes, thank you so much, Abhijit, Kansha, Niharika. You all can leave children. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.